Hi guys, welcome to Milgaff Farms. Today we are stacking hay. But before we can do that, we gotta check it for the moisture and the temperature. What we don't want to happen in our barn is a thing called spontaneous combustion. And that occurs when the moisture in the hay um, touches dry grass and, and then the temperature just begins to increase pretty quickly. And before you know it, you got a barn fire. And that's not anything we can afford at this point. Guys, we purchased a Draminsky moisture meter and temperature probe. And you can see this thing is, this is stout. We like it. You just shove that thing right into the bale and then it'll tell you either the moisture or the temperature and you can toggle between the two and look at each one of the bales. And guys, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna check all the bales here in the barn. Any bale that is, is either high temperature over 100 or high moisture over 15%, we're gonna go ahead and mark it and we're gonna leave it sit out for a little bit longer. The rest of the bales can be stacked. So check this out, it's pretty cool. All you do is just take and shove it right in the bale. When you do that, hit the on button. We're looking at temperature in Fahrenheit. Can you guys see that? 64 degrees. Hit this button right here. Tells us our moisture. This bale is 14.5%. I'm gonna leave some pink engineer tape on the bale. And when I'm done checking all my bales, I'm gonna come around and tie this onto the bale. And that's gonna let me know that this bale was either warm or a higher moisture bale. Either way, it's gotta stay out for a little bit. And we'll just move it around the barn, let it, let it cool off for a little bit longer. And this may take another week or so, and that's fine. I'd rather it be as cool as possible before I put it up in my barn and, and, and even risk the opportunity of a barn fire or these things spontaneously combusting. That's just a bad day waiting to happen. We don't want that to happen here on the farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Guys, we got about 17 bales that are a little high in moisture, which I'm going to say 15% is the max that we have. Um, some of these are low in moisture, but they have high temperature. And I say high 101. That's not terribly high, but I'm going to try to eliminate all risks that I can. And until that thing comes down into the low 90s, I'm not going to stack it. So it's, in my mind, still curing or venting or just losing that heat. And I don't want any hot bales in my barn. Uh, stacked, that is. I set them out here so they can cool off. And last night it was 47 degrees. So a couple more nights of that, and I think we're going to be okay. Okay, can you guys see behind me? Anybody know what that is? That's an evaporator. Here on our farm, we're Virginia's only organic maple syrup producer. And that's one of the tools that we use to make maple syrup out of. If you haven't visited our website, check it out. It's millgapfarms.com. We have a couple B&Bs. If you ever want to come out and hang out with us, um, learn something, or just sit on the porch and do nothing. It is awesome here. It's late June, and it was in the upper 40s last night. Uh, earlier in the week, it was in the low 40s, almost the 30s, and it's June. Our high temperatures for the days, like when it's cool like that, is probably going to be in the 60s or 70s. It is absolutely gorgeous here. Come out and visit sometime. I 
Hi everybody, welcome to Mill Gap Farms. And we are still stacking our hay. Uh, a couple days ago, we started the stacking process, but we still had a few hay bales that were a little moist and kind of warm. So we like to make absolutely sure that we don't have any really hot bales or warm bales before we start stacking them because that would just cause more and more problems. So today, guys, we got them cooled off and it's time to get them all stacked and ready for winter. So come on, let's see if we can get this done. You guys can see over here that we've already started stacking some of the hay and you can still see our moisture meter over there from where we were testing. There's a mini bale on top. Um, now it's time to get these hay bales stacked on one, one on top of each other like uh, soup cans, just like you see right there. And that's gonna take a little bit of a while because Jesse sold his skid steer. Oh boy, I miss that skid steer. A little echoey, 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 <laughs> but all the haze out. This is cool. Um, the only thing we gotta do now is just rake the barn. And you know you have a dirty barn when you don't sweep it, but you rake it. And that's what we're gonna do next. Get that all completed and then get our sugar barn looking back to the way it should look so that we can go back to doing maple tours and maple syrup production kind of things, which include bottling and labeling. And that's a lot of fun. So guys, you can see right over here, we've got our bales. You see them? Stacking them like soup cans, guys, enables them to keep their shape uh, without, and we could roll them. So if they hit the ground and we had to roll it, we, we, 
No, we can't roll them. I'm kidding. These things weigh a thousand pounds plus. I'm not rolling these things, but they look good, right? So we got a couple small bales that will feed out first when November, December hits. And between now and then, we've got to do a little cleaning right behind me and in this area right here, which can be pretty cool. Get our workshop back to normal. So guys, right behind me, we've got some tools that we got to get reconfigured, if you will. Most everything we have here in the barn is on wheels so that we can move it to one side or the other, depending on the size of the project that we're doing. Last year, we did a project we called uh, the X-Wing or the X-Fighter. Actually, I think I called it X-Wing, which is our turkey, our mobile turkey um, enclosure. And, and so we need a lot of space. So everything on this side went over to that side. Um, and then we were able to get it done. Sometimes when we're working on big trailers or a big piece of equipment, it's good to have the ability to work around it. And so, or walk around it, work around it, that sort of thing. And getting junk out of here is important. And that's why we have everything on wheels. So it's pretty neat, uh, very versatile, very helpful. So guys, I wanna say thank you for watching our videos. If you like what you're seeing, give us that thumbs up. We appreciate it. So guys, if you can think of things that you would find interesting um, about our farm, let us know and we'll try to do a video on it. Again, thank you guys for watching our videos. And until next time, God bless you guys. Now, it's Mexico time. Yum, 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 in the tum, tum, tum. All right, guys, this is the reward for doing the hay. Watch. It's already partially frozen. And it's pretty much all frozen. Not product placement, but delicious.